This was out, came out a year ago at CES. Okay. It actually was one of 26 official Best of Show finalists at CES, out of thousands of products, uh, and the only watch. Um, this is out just this year at CES. This is a, a high-end stainless steel with voice on it, microphone and speaker, the first voice command watch. This is our notifier, it doesn't have microphone and speakers, so that's differentiation. But I'll show you how they both work. If I were to get a text again, here you can hold this. Um, you will actually first feel a custom vibration. If it were long, short, long, it would have been a text, uh, an email. But you'll hear, feel here a long, short, short, where even if you're not looking at what's going on, you'll feel what's just happened. So right. did, you, did you feel right. that come through? Right, long, short, short. Right. So what's happened is we realized after our first product and people that have pebbles and others, realized they get vibration fatigue. You get so many things coming through, pretty soon you're numb you to it all. To it, it's yeah. just a, a vibration every three minutes, so who cares? So we thought, how can we make it better? So we put smart notifications. We go into the app, and any app, uh, that sends social, we, we pre-populate with about 20. If that comes on your phone, you can now choose to have it come to the watch. If it's an app for travel, or fitness, or stock quotes or something, the first time you get a notification, it will populate on this and you can choose that. Then you can go ahead and set a custom pattern, like you just saw, with a scroll bar, right. so that you know, you probably would only have four or five, kind of know what's urgent, what's not urgent, kind of thing. If you get uh, an app, now let's say you got a text that came through and you were in a meeting, you couldn't really look, the boss says, well, they just took a break for two seconds. You can immediately just tap that within five minutes and the notification that came in will come back to the watch. Uh, if you want to know what, what were the last several of them, push both buttons and it actually scrolls backward through the last 10 notifications. So more than that, on this watch, if you were driving, I see I got a text, but I'm not going to read that while I'm going, I could push my uh, Siri button here read text. And if you, it's pretty loud in here, but you'll be able to pick it up. Kind of kid. So it's plenty loud in quiet areas. Right, right. I mean, so if, if you're uh, driving or let's say you're, I was skiing in Utah a couple weeks ago, phone zipped in. I know a year ago I missed uh, lunch with some friends because someone texted me. I said, I'm not, I don't know what's going on, but I'm not going to answer that and risk the ski lift and dropping all that stuff. Now this year I'm getting sports scores and everything on the lift just asking questions. You can call people, you can do anything. So it, it's not meant to be that all your calls go through your watch, you're not playing victories, but maybe 5% of them, all of a sudden it's convenient. You're picking so up someone at the airport. We'll pick it on the app on the phone. Yeah, you can, yeah, you can figure what you get. Yeah, exactly. So, How much are they? Uh, the, with voice in the U.S., these are coming with much higher prices in Europe because of VAT and taxes and import duties and everything. But U.S., this is $299, and that's going to be $129, the notifier. Why so, such a small screen? Why not go digital and go bigger with the notifications piece? Well, here's my view of it, um, is that, uh, you know how, if you'd have put a Prius on the street in 1960, no one would have bought it, because that wasn't what their vision of what a car was. Right now, the vision of what a watch is, is more like this. It's not flat panel. To a technical crowd, flat panel's great, pebbles cool, all that stuff. But to most of the world, they still want analog if they buy it. It's for fashion. And so, secondly, this display is more about a heads-up display of what's going on in your phone. We focus on notifications, meaning if it's almost 80% of what's going on, even health, fitness, other things are, are sending information. And more than anything, I want to know what's going on in my life. I don't need to know the details. So frankly, the most valuable feature we've found right now is the vibration pattern. More so than what's going on in the watch. You want to know whether something's just happened that you need to get your watch out or, or look your watch or go to the phone. So we've decided the fashion first with just enough information that you can get the info you want if you want it, but really let people know what's going on in their life. Uh, and there's many other things. There's silent alarms. There's controlling your camera. There's walking away. It'll tell you you left your you left your phone in the restaurant. There's a dozen features like that that are all valuable that aren't dependent upon the display, but are still valuable in your life. Can you get this thinner? Why is it so? Not yet. Well, because there's a speaker, a big battery. Uh, those are the biggest two. Uh, PCB board. The, the watch battery will run as a watch for two years, okay. but the, uh, the rechargeable battery runs for about four days on this and five days on the notifier. And where are you guys from? Uh, Irvine, California, Orange County. Right. Cool. Thank you. So, anyway.
Who are you guys with? I'm, I work with a number of companies. 